Hey guys, Jeremy with TheWarriorSolution.com. In this video, we are talking about click belts. They make gun belts, everyday carry belts, and duty belts for police officers using the Cobra buckle as the primary closure mechanism for the belts. They also make dog collars and other accessories. So I spoke with Donna over at Click Belts. She was very kind, very helpful, and very interested in catering to me as an individual. So we spoke back and forth a little bit and came up with a couple different belts I wanted to try out, this being one of them. This is a standard Click Belt with the Cobra buckle, but something special about this one is that I asked her to add Velcro to the tail here so that it could be secured and not flap around loosely or have to worry about an elastic keeper or any other extra additional um, parts or accessories or anything. So once I feed the belt through my loops, loop it into the buckle, I can just slap it down onto the Velcro wherever it happens to land and I'm good to go and I know that that end is not coming off. That was one of the, the negative drawbacks that was brought up by some of my colleagues that took a look at the previous click belt was the tail being loose. There are, you know, elastic keepers and rubber bands and things you can put on the belts. As a matter of fact, click belts ships with some of those keepers like this one. Here's a keeper right here. But uh, I was curious to check out the Velcro option just as an extra you know, security feature to keep that belt nice and tight. My intention with this particular belt is to run it through a padded waist belt and use it as a battle belt on the range when I'm doing shooting instruction and other stuff. So I can just grab my battle belt out of the car and just click it right on over whatever I happen to be wearing and I'm ready to go. This will all be all set, no, no muss, no fuss, ready to go. Click belts manufacture some of the strongest belts in the world as far as I know. The buckle itself, the Cobra buckle, is rated for 18 kilonewtons. So 18 kilonewtons when you pull weight laterally, this way. So 18 kilonewtons is um, quite a bit of weight. It's approximately the weight of one of these and one of those and that thing. But basically, in theory, you could put this belt on and use it as a repelling harness, an emergency repelling rig, a tow strap for vehicle recovery, um, securing equipment, all kinds of crazy applications. Obviously, I cannot condone or recommend doing any of those things because it's 2020 and people are still This one is what they call the TSA approved buckle design. By TSA approved, basically there's no metal in the belt at all, anywhere. So if you spend a lot of time going through airport security and things like that, you wouldn't actually have to remove your belt like you normally would. Because this is all polymer, Obviously, it's not going to set off metal detectors. It is the same Cobra buckle design that their you know, flagship belts are, but again, all plastic or polymer. The construction is very similar to their other belts. Basically, it's the exact same belt, except you have a polymer buckle instead of a metal buckle. The second belt that Click Belts sent is their black nylon, double layer nylon Cobra buckle. And this is the click belt that you are familiar with. Uses that Cobra buckle with an 18 kilonewton force pulling laterally this way. So this is by far the strongest belt that I own. 
Click Belts sells a variety of different styles of belts and thicknesses of belts depending on what you want to use it for. If you're looking for an everyday, you know, normal use belt, you can get a single layer of nylon and it'll be nice and comfortable, wrap around your body and work out well for you. If you're looking for a stiffer belt for concealed carry or open carry or range work or deployments and things like that, you can get a belt like this one, which has two layers of nylon and the inner layer is extremely stiff. You can also go all the way up to three layers of nylon if you're using it as a duty belt, as a police officer, for example. This belt is extremely, ugh, extremely stiff and strong. It's not gonna bend at all or, or flex under the weight of concealed carry weapons, open carry weapons, range work, magazines, radios, tourniquets, pouches, dump pouches, Twinkie pouches. You're, you're pretty much set with this belt. These Kerba buckles are pretty cool because, again, they're super, super strong, but they also are never gonna open accidentally unless you push both of these tabs in at the same time. And you can hear that spring. So you have to push both tabs in at the same time in order to unlock it. So if you have just one, not, not coming undone. You can pull on it. Again, 18 kilonewtons, a lot, a lot of weight. Basically the nylon in the belt itself is most likely gonna break before that buckle does. The interesting thing with this TSA buckle, when you put your tail end through the buckle itself, there's an interesting spring system inside of the buckle. So these little bars here, they're not actually springs. It's just the same plastic material that the buckle is made out of. So when you depress this down to slide the tail through, it compresses those plastic pieces and then pushes them back into the buckle to secure the belt itself, that tail end of the belt. It's a kind of an extra little added pressure to help keep everything nice and stable. One of the drawbacks of click belts is that they're not the, the fastest belt to put on in the world because you can't fit the buckle through your belt loops. Like this end here doesn't really fit through belt loops. It might if you kind of wiggle it and force it, but it's just faster to, to take it off, to take the belt off the buckle and run the belt through your loops without it. It's not, you know, a be all end all deal breaker or anything. It's just something to keep in mind. Overall, I would give click belts a solid four out of five stars. The fifth star could be achieved by maybe lowering the price just a little bit and possibly changing out the large Cobra buckle with one that has a smaller female end so that the buckle itself could be threaded through belt loops. So there's, there'd be no need to you know, thread the, the belt through and then thread the belt through the buckle and then click the buckle. It would just be a very quick, you know, normal belt donning operation, I guess. Uh, but other than that, I mean, the build quality is top notch. The belts are made in Austin, Texas. The buckles are made in Austria, question mark, I think. Uh, but they are genuine Cobra buckles. They're not knockoff buckles made in China or anything. The customer service and customization factor of click belts is top notch. I'm pretty confident that click belts would be more than happy to work with you and come up with the exact belt that you're looking for. So if you are looking for a high quality Cobra buckle belt, definitely check out click belts. There is a link in the description. Check out thewarriorsolution.com for my written review of these belts and other reviews that I've done in the past on other products. Make sure to follow at the warrior solution on Instagram for awesome original content like that picture behind me. And check out thewarriorsolution.com for original t-shirt designs, hoodies, mugs, canvas prints, and 
hats. See you next time. What do you think of this lighting in here? It makes me look ripped. <laughs> Not really. I need to work out more. <laughs>